Hi, I'm Pedro from Coffee Parts and today we're looking at the Gadget Classic Pro. Now let's dive in and have a deeper look into this machine. The Gadget Classic Pro. Now this machine often gets compared to around Chilia Silvia. Both machines are kind of a similar calibre in playing in the same space, with the Gadget Classic being slightly cheap, cheaper than the Silvia. But let's look into the Gadget Classic. Now, with this machine, it's a single group head, dual purpose boiler machine, meaning you can make coffee out of your portafilter just like any other machine, but then your hot water and steam come out of the steam one, and you can't do them at the same time. So you make your coffee, flick your steam switch, wait, turn your steam on, do your milk. With this machine, simple operation, you got your 2.1 litre water reservoir here. Compared to the Sylvia though, you can actually see your water level quite clearly, both from the front and a little cutout here on the side, which makes it easier to know if you're running low on water and you don't get that surprise midway through a shot. Not only can you feel the water from the top, if you wanted to, you can remove this little bar here and the drip tray and the water tank comes out, mainly for cleaning, but if you were in a really low restricted the height to say a very low cupboard it could also theoretically fill your tank from the front one thing we do like about this machine and i know it's a simple minor thing but the drip tray is actually a decent size so when you actually look at the drip tray on this it's quite decent depth so it'll be a while before you fill it and as it slides straight out when you it is, if it is full you can pull it out and empty it quite easily without being awkward and maybe spilling some of the Liquid, so it's only a simple thing, but it does make operating quite easy. From a porta filter perspective, it's running a commercial grade porta filter. So that affects the temperature stability of the coffee. So with the stainless dispersion plate, brass group head, and the porta filter, you're getting quite an even temperature distribution. So you're getting a better extraction. It is a relatively small boiler at 140 mil, running a 1400 watt element, but relatively comparable to the Sylvia. Where it does change from the Sylvia and something we actually don't like is the steam valve is non-serviceable. So if the steam seal ever goes, which might be a few years away, you have to replace the whole valve versus just a little seal on the Sylvia. And we just don't like wastage. So we feel like throwing away a valve because of a seal is a bit redundant. But apart from that, this machine rocks for its price point. You're getting awesome espresso, great milk. They've also updated the steam arm. So where the previous one was like super thin and a bit domestic with a plastic cover. The new one is more like a commercial style. It's a stainless steel arm, obviously smaller than commercial, but it's at now a level where it's quite nice to work with. On this machine, it's got a cutoff. After nine minutes, it shuts the machine down. So if you're not using the machine, it's automatically gonna shut down, protecting the element and conserving energy. A common upgrade you're seeing people do on this is to upgrade the group head seal and the, the shower screen to an IMS shower screen and a cafe lat silicon seal. Now, it's not gonna make your espresso completely better, but it will improve your water flow just slightly and the seal will last a bit longer and be a bit softer. It's a common upgrade to do, not very expensive, and it just makes that little bit of a difference, a machine a little bit nicer. For more information on that, we've actually done a video. If you click here, you can go and have a look at that in detail. Now back to this machine, one thing I kind of don't like is the power out of the rear. It's right at the back in the middle. I tend to like machines where the power comes out of the bottom and it's just a very clean approach. If you were to put this machine to say on an island, having that power like from the rear, kind of from the top middle is not the most attractive. But in saying that, more than likely these machines will sit up against the kitchen bench wall and you're never gonna see that and value for money, bang for buck, they're on point. One thing to remember with all these machines, being a Gadget Classic Pro or a Sylvia, is you really do need to pair them up with a proper grinder, whether it be a Barat Sassetti, a Eureka Specialita, Manuale, etc. The grinder is key. What does this machine come with? Basically, not much. The machine, the porta filter, a single and a double basket, and it also comes with pressurized baskets, which we pretty much recommend just to throw out. You don't want to use pressurized baskets, just masking, you're not using fresh coffee. You might as well, if you're gonna go manual machine, do it properly. So overall, we're in love with the machine for its price point. Yes, there are better machines, yes, there are cheaper machines, but both this and the Sylvia for bang for buck, you can't beat. Thank you for watching our review on the Gadget Classic Pro. Now I'm curious, 
What side of the fence are you on? Is it Gadget Classic or Rentelier Silvia? If you leave a comment below, let me know, Classic or Silvia? Really interested to tally them up and work out what's more popular. If you've got any questions, also write a comment below or basically email us, call us, jump on our website, get in contact with us and we'll reply back to you. We're doing weekly reviews on machines, grinders, accessories. Hit that subscribe button to keep following us and hope you're enjoying this content. Thank you, I'm Pedro from Coffee Parts.